Hello guys. Um, so what I've done now is I've just loosely put the engine mounting bolts in. Um, the ones at the top as well in the head. And I've put the water pump on. Um, and then I've put the pipe on to here. Um, the thermostat. The oil pipe. Now the oil pipe, I can't find the... Um, you know for that I can't find the bolts and the copper washers so I'm going to order some of them new ones and put them on that's why I've left it loose um, I've sort of like trimmed these because the ends of these were in fact there look the ends of them like that but on that side so I've trimmed them down put them on um, put that on I've um, put the rocket cover on now I'll be honest with you I'm I am going to check the clearances um, before it goes into the frame because I've got a spare frame somewhere so I'll, uh, I'll get it into that. Uh, so I'm going to check the clearances. It's just that what I want to do is just sort of like get it as complete as possible. Well, I need to order an oil filter as well uh, and I need to order some exhaust manifold studs and some new spark plugs. So I am going to do that. Um, I just want to get it as complete as possible just to see what it's going to look like. And um, let me try and get back here. Oh, and I haven't put that on because I'm going to turn it over as I'm checking the valve clearances. So, um, yeah. I think we're nearly there, guys. So, ooh, we need to um, get it in a, a frame, don't we, and see. So I've got, um, I think I've got a starter motor somewhere and an alternator. I think somewhere um, so I need to dig all them out they might be in unit actually oh and I need some um, bolts for that I, so I believe that the bolts that hold that on are these type um, and I've just temporarily put a allen key one in so I've got a big tub here um, so that tub there is just rammed with nuts and bolts. So I shall uh, tip that onto the floor and have a shifty through that. Um, and I think actually, I think my alternator and start motor was down there in that big box, so I'll dig them out. So yeah, so it's coming on slowly guys. I'm so excited. Um, <sighs> I just hope that when I start it up, it doesn't go <laughs> because if it does, uh, I think I'll laugh to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, and the other thing as well is um, the clutch rod. Um, I think I've put two ball bearings in. Um, I know there's only supposed to be one, but I didn't think there was one in. Um, so I've shoved another one in and I think I've got two in now. So I need to double check that as well. Um, I tried putting a blob of grease on the end of it and pulling it out, but it didn't work. So, but anyway, um, I'll see if I can get, I'll double check that. So there's still a few checks to do, um, but I just thought I'd give you a quick update as to what it's looking like. Ooh, I'm well up there. All them different colors as well. I mean, like I say, this green paint is just a fucking, it's a tin of that shit from Alfred's that I had lying about same with the red as well so i know that silver black and green and red don't really go but um i don't know hey it's different isn't it um at least if it gets sold or you know if you put it in a frame and it starts running okay and i sell it on i'll know that, it's that that's the engine i built <laughs> anyway um oh yeah i've got to put on the um throttle position the um gear position sensor as well before I can put the sprocket casing on um, the sprocket casing is down there so yeah um, I don't know if I'm going to do any more of this video but if I do you'll see me in a few minutes a few seconds right so I've been through my big tub of nuts and bolts and I found some Allen, Allen bolts that fit that perfect so that's gone on um, I did find one of the oils bolts but I'm just going to buy new, so I'm going to buy new of them. Um, 
I've also just temper. I found the bolts as well for the sprocket casing, so I've put that on tempera, but it doesn't have the push rod in because there is definitely two ball bearings in there, so I need to get one of them out. Um, which is a shame. I can't find my bloody starter motor. I'm sure I had a starter motor somewhere uh, and an alternator, so I need to find that. So what I need to do now then is... Oh, and I found... Look at that. I found an oil filter. Hey! <laughs> um, and I found these. Set of gaskets. Exhaust gaskets as well, which is good. So what I need to do now is I need to get um, some exhaust studs, um, some spark plugs, and then these bolts here. Um, and I think, oh, and I need to find my alternator and my starter motor. Oh, and I found, um, I found another bolt um, for the bottom of the water pump as well. So, oh yeah, that's the thing. I need to, uh, where's it gone? This. Right, so that needs to go back on as well. So I'll leave that there with that. So I'll be taking that down. So yeah. Um, so, um, do you know what I might do? I might just, I might just put the other end cap on there just so that, for now, just so I know it's on. Um, but, so that's it guys, um, I think the next time you might see this engine will be when uh, my son and uh, Scott carry it down for me. So anyway, so I think the engine rebuild is complete, oh yeah I've got to check the valves I'll be honest with you. I'll just double check them before I, uh, I know it turns over okay, but, and the valves, the, the shims, uh, the valve clearances, the shims came with that head, so I'm guessing it was all right when they took it off, to be honest with you, um, you know, the, the, the clearance, but I will double check the, the clearances. So, um, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. And I'm down for the piss now, and I'll ask her home, and she's going to make the tea, so I'm out. Bye.